Well, this recent body of work was really inspired when I began gardening. Um, I didn't spend a lot of time in nature as a kid and only recently acquired my very first garden. And as soon as I started sort of digging in the dirt, I realized that I had um, really sort of well-formed ideas about what a garden should be. And it struck me that none of those ideas came from nature. They all came from books. And all of my ideas about nature were in some way shaped by culture. And um, I think my work now really explores that relationship between nature and culture, um, trying to expose the fact that there really is no separation. We are part of nature. And you know, nature and man and the impact of man have always been intertwined. We're cultural beings, so we can only see nature through a cultural lens. Well, my work is made from cut paper using a technique called quilling, and I also use other techniques like collaging and some techniques that I made up. Um, it's all meticulously constructed in the studio in modular parts. And then once I came on site, I unpacked a 16-foot truck full of paper components and built the installation on site. Um, and I thought of the show as sort of like a garden tour through different periods of garden design, all designed specifically for the rooms here at the Art Center. The work is made from paper and charcoal and also a reflective black plexiglass. And I chose those materials because they're somewhat ephemeral in nature. Um, and like a garden, it sort of comes and goes. And the paper has a very kind of temporary feel but it's still able to create this moment of bloom that sort of extends um, for a while and then dies back. Um, and the paper and the charcoal together, they're f forever possible that the charcoal will ignite the paper. The paper is very meticulous, it's very laborious, and the charcoal is a little bit messier. It's something that's actually from nature. Um, and I like the tension of those two materials together. People always ask about the monochromatic black palette that infuses all of my work. And for me, black is just, it's kind of a mystical color in the way that the work can f dissolve into just a black hole. And then you realize that it's actually the seething surface of millions of tiny little parts. I think black has a power to be kind of magical um, and suggest a kind of sublime experience.